everyone and it's lovely to be back doing another online assembly with you. I hope you're all still okay at home and those of you who are in school as well. So let's start with our greeting. The Lord be with you. Thank you. Now last week we thought about how amazing God is and how he can help anyone in any situation no matter how impossible it seems. So this week, we're going to learn about the first miracle that Jesus did. But I wonder, do you know what a miracle is? If you're not sure what a miracle is, just stop the video for a moment and um, ask a teacher or ask uh, a, somebody in your house to see if they can tell you. OK, do you know what a miracle is then? It's a, it's a wonderful or unusual event that can't be explained, which is caused by the power of God. But what's impossible for us is possible for God, which we're reminded of by our song this week. And our song is God can do anything, anything at all. So let's sing it together. Box, don't shove him in a corner, don't you limit what he can do Don't put him in a box, don't shove him in a corner Don't you limit what he can do God can do anything, anything at all God can do anything, anything at all Nothing is too big for him and nothing is too small God can do anything, anything at all Don't put him in a box, don't shove him in a corner Don't you limit what he can do Don't put him in a box, don't shove him in a corner Don't you limit what he can do God can do anything, anything at all God can do anything, anything at all Nothing is too big for him and nothing is too small God can do anything, anything at all Don't put him in the box, don't shove him in the corner Don't you limit what he can do Don't put him in the box, don't shove him in the corner Don't you limit what he can do God can do anything, anything at all God can do anything, anything at all Nothing is too big for him and nothing is too small God can do anything, anything at all don't put him in the box, don't shove him in the corner. Don't you limit what he can do. Don't put him in the box, don't shove him in the corner. Don't you limit what he can do. Yeah, yeah. Well, I hope you managed to keep up as the song got faster. Did you? Good. Good. Now for our story time and we're going to have the story of Jesus at a wedding and watch carefully to see what happens. Stories of the Bible. Jesus turns water into wine. This is Jesus, hey who is the son of God and the savior of the world. Jesus was born in Bethlehem and grew up in Nazareth, where he grew in wisdom and favor with God oh, I see. and man. One day, 
Jesus, his disciples, and his mother went to a wedding in Cana. In the middle of the party, the wine ran out. Uh-oh. So Jesus' mother, Mary, told him, they have no more wine. Aww. Jesus replied, dear woman, that's not our problem. My time has not yet come. Excuse me. But Mary told the servants, do whatever he tells you. Standing nearby were six stone water jars. The Jews used jars like these in their washing ceremony. Jesus told the servants, fill the jars with water. Yeah, okay. When the jars had been filled, he said, now dip some out and take it to the master of ceremonies. So the servants did what Jesus told them to. When the master of ceremonies tasted the water that was now wine, not knowing where it had come from, though of course the servants knew, he called the bridegroom over. A host always serves the best wine first. Then when everyone has had a lot to drink, he brings out the less expensive wine, but you have kept the best until now. This miraculous sign in Cana in Galilee was the first time Jesus revealed his glory and his disciples believed in him. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? Now, I wonder, have you ever been to a wedding? And if you have, what happened at the reception afterwards? What food was there? Did everyone have drinks? If you'd like to, just pause this for a moment and you can have a conversation about what it was like at the we wedding reception. OK, well, we've just watched the story of Jesus at a wedding in Cana in Galilee. At that wedding, there would have been loads and loads of guests, probably the whole village. Can you imagine that? The whole village at the wedding. So you see, for the wine to run out, that would have been awful and really, really embarrassing for the families of the couple getting married. And so when this happened, it was lucky that Jesus was there to help them. He asked the servants to fill the stone jars with water. He then told the steward to pour the water and taste it. And so Jesus saved the party by turning six large stone jars of water into the best quality wine. You know, this wasn't the cheap stuff. This was really good wine. And about 900 bottles of it. 900. Can you imagine that? That's a lot, isn't it? So the Bible tells us that Jesus did many miracles and so people at the time began to realise that he was a very special person indeed. It seemed to them that God must be at work. And now Christians believe that when God is at work, everyday things like water can become very special. God can make ordinary things extraordinary. And though we're all ordinary people, God thinks that we are wonderful and he loves each one of us very much. So if we make time for God in our lives, he'll help us to change for the better, just as in the story where ordinary water was changed into the best wine. Well, I'm now going to say a short prayer after which we'll say the Lord's Prayer together. So let's pray. Thank you, God, that you can make ordinary things very special. Help us to look after your wonderful creation and to treat each other with respect. Amen. The Lord's Prayer Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Well, I hope you enjoyed our time together today and we'll see you again soon. Bye. Don't shove him in a corner, don't you limit what he can do Don't put him in a box, don't shove him in a corner Don't you limit what he can do God can do anything, anything at all God can do anything, anything at all Nothing is too big for him and nothing is too small God can do anything, anything at all Don't put him in a box, don't shove him in a corner Don't you limit what he can do Don't put him in a box, don't shove him in a corner Don't you limit what he can do God can do anything God can do anything, anything at all. Don't put him in the box, don't shove him in the corner. Don't you limit what he can do. Don't put him in the box, don't shove him in the corner. Don't you limit what he can do. God can do anything, anything at all. God can do anything, anything at all. Nothing is too big for him, but nothing is too small. God can do anything, anything at all. Don't put him in the box, don't shove him in the corner. Don't you limit what he can do. Don't put him in the box, don't shove him in the corner. Don't you limit what he can do.